الحمد للہ رب العالمین و صلی اللہ وسلم علی نبین محمد و علی علی و صحبہ و سلم اما بعد احبت فی اللہ from the sifat of the mu'mineen, the characteristics of the believers, and these are the characteristics of Ahlul Sunnah Haqqa. These are the characteristics of Ahlul Sunnah Ti Wal Jama'ah, and may Allah bless us to be from amongst them. Ameen, Ya Rabbil Alameen, and may Allah forgive us of our many shortcomings. Ameen. Uh, Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala mentions about Ahlul Iman, Wa Ahlul Taqwa, that they truly have that iman. They believe in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. They believe in the unseen. They believe what came in the book and in the sunnah of the messenger sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And Allah tabarak wa ta'ala says, fi kitab al kareem after, a'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim, bismillah ar-rahman ar-rahim, alif lam mim, ذَلِكَ الْكِتَابُ لَا رَيْبَ فِي هُدٍ لِلْمُتَّقِينَ الَّذِينَ يُؤْمِنُونَ بِالْغَيْبِ وَيُقِمُونَ الصَّلَاةُ وَمِمَّا رَزَقْنَاهُمْ يُنْفِقُونَ وَالَّذِينَ يُؤْمِنُونَ بِمَا أُنْزِلَ إِلَيْكَ وَمَا أُنْزِلَ مِنْ قَبْلِكَ بِالْآخِرَتِهِمْ يُقِنُونَ أُولَئِكَ أَلُهُدٍ مِنْ رَبِّهِمْ وَأُولَئِكَ هُمُ مُفْلِحُونَ Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions about Ahli Iman. He gives us a, a, a very in-depth wasf, a very in-depth description of who Ahli Iman is. After Alif Lam Mim, he says, ذَلِكَ الْكِتَابَ لَا رَيْبَ فِي This is a book in which contains no doubt. Who does it contain no doubt for? Ahli Iman. Hudan lil muttaqeen. So there's no doubt it, and it's a hood. It's a it's a it's a guidance. It's guidance for the, the pious ones. It's guidance for the pious ones. So if you want to be from Ahla Iman, wa ahla taqwa, and that's who the muttaqeen are, they are ahla taqwa. Then you will take the Quran as a guidance. Hudan lil muttaqeen. Then Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala goes and gives us more explanation about who these muttaqeen are. Alladheena yu'minuna bil ghayb. Verily they, they are those who yu'minuna bil ghayb. They believe in the unseen. So that means in accordance with what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned, we believe in the malaika. We believe in in the Yom al Akhirah, the Day of Judgment, we believe that there are jinn, and that perhaps this is in a place of the inhabitants of many jinn. They like the mountains. They like uh, even filthy places. They have many places in which they inhabit. So we believe in that. Alladina yu'minuna bil ghayb. They believe in the unseen. So ahla iman, they believe in the ghayb. الَّذِينَ يُؤْمِنُونَ بِالْغَيْبِ وَيُقِيمُونَ صَلَاةِ What else do they do? What else does Ahli Iman do? وَيُقِيمُونَ صَلَاةِ They establish the prayer. They are those who establish the prayer. They pray. الَّذِينَ يُؤْمِنُونَ بِالْغَيْبِ وَيُقِيمُونَ صَلَاةِ وَمِمَّا رَزَقْنَهُمْ يُنْفِقُونَ And what we have provided them, they spend. هَذَا أَحْلِ إِمَان That they spend from their wealth that Allah has provided them. And that is a, a difficult thing for many of us. We become attached to this dunya, we become attached to this wealth. So then we begin to see that, hey, oh, this was because of my hard work only. Oh, this was because of me only. Or this is because my boss is like such and such. This is because they like me at my work because of such and such. This is because I do such good work and I've got a raise and such and such. We have all kind of or my intelligence has gotten me so much further along in my career, along with my business savvy. All of these things we attribute to the reason why we have rizq 
But we forget that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, ultimately, he, it is from Ar-Razak. He gives us these asbab, he gives us these means for gaining that rizq. And from, from what we have provided them, they spend. So that means also departing from that wealth. Striving to avoid miserly, being nigard, nigardly, you know, being one who hoards his or her wealth instead of spending it in the cause, spending it in the cause of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in righteousness, helping the poor, helping the fuqara, and spending on those who it's an obligation upon you to spend upon. Your parents. And if you have children, your children. If you're a man, your spouse, your, your wife, and your children and, and all those who you're charged in authority over. Women marazaknahum yunfikun. And they believe in what was descended, I mean, what was revealed to the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, meaning the Quran and the Sunnah. So that means they have to believe in the Quran and the Sunnah. And they believe in what was revealed to those NBA before the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam. We haven't seen those books. We see bits and pieces of the Torah, bits and pieces of the Injil or the Bible, but we know they've been tampered with. We know they're not the original, and we believe in that. And we believe that the original books were from the messengers of Allah. They're from Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala, and they were uh, wahi, revelation to those messengers alayhim afdal salatu wassalam ulaik ala hudim min rabbihim those are the ones who are upon guidance from their lord they're upon guidance from the lord so that shows us that the muttaqin obviously that's who we want to be that's ahli iman those are the mu'minin those are ahli huda that is who Ahl Sunnati wal Jama'ah is. They're the ones on, on guidance from Allah because they possess those sifat that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala detailed there in Surah Al Baqarah. And He detailed it all throughout in Surah Al Mu'minin, Mu'minun. And all, the, uh, all throughout the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentions the various traits, sifat of the Mu'minin, of Ahl Iman. And that's who we want to be. We want to be from them. We want to be of those who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is pleased with, who Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala labels as the muttaqeen. That's who Ahl Iman is, Ahl Sunnah. And we ask Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, the Almighty, to accept our good and forgive our evil and bless us to be from Ahl Iman. Forgive us of our many, many sins and shortcomings. Bless us with ilm al-nafi, rizqan tayyib, wa'amil al and bless us to be of those who he is pleased with and those who strive in his cause in a manner that pleases him. Tabarak wa ta'ala wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alihi wa sahbihi wa sallam.